Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today we'll be going over the most efficient or best warm up for Rocket League. How do you warm up? What's the best and the most efficient way to do so? And I've developed a 30 minute uh, training slash warm up routine which should help you rank up extremely easy. Now, everybody thinks, oh, warming up, you know, what do you do? Do I need a warm up? The quick, short answer is yes, absolutely, you need a warm up. <laughs> but a lot of people get confused as to what exactly they should be warming up. It's like, oh, should I be trying to get my double taps going or my foot resets? Or should I just be hitting the ball around? Or what should I be doing? And a lot of people neglect this part of Rocket League and in doing so actually hurt their chances at ranking up. So the first part of this training plan is to simply do what I've just been doing for the past minute or so, which is just smashing the ball around, playing around with it, um, and just just hitting the ball in general. And you might be wondering, but but Moldy, what do you mean just hit the ball around? I thought you said that wasn't good just a minute ago. Well it's not good if you expect to get better just out of hitting the ball or you expect that all your mechanics are just going to warm up because you're hitting the ball but what this actually does is it conditions you to hitting the ball in general and it warms up your touches on the ball um, so i don't necessarily care whether you are scoring anything or whether your shots are absolutely amazing all you're getting your brain to do right now is getting used to the movement of the ball and how it's moving around the field and generally your reading as well you're conditioning yourself to the ball and that's the most important thing so what i want you to do is to do this for maybe five minutes just hitting the ball around don't be too fast if you're missing shots or missing certain stuff but focus particularly on the power in which you're hitting the ball and also just your control in general now once you've done that for five minutes the next thing i want you to do is to focus on your flicks so to grab the ball you can either sport it on top of your car or come into the middle and roll it and i just want you to flick the ball at the net i don't particularly care whether it's on net or how fast it is initially but essentially what you want to do with this exercise is focus on the power in which you're flicking the ball and why is this important well it's building up how you're controlling the ball on your car and your general car control as well it also targets your air roll so obviously you need to use a little bit of air roll to flick the ball and also you need to flip into it so it targets those two things and warms you up to that as well so initially your flicks like mine are here are not particularly great but I want you to do this for another five minutes and I want you to essentially just keep flicking the ball over and over again until you're getting a nice amount of power on your flicks the next part I want you to focus on is your shooting so this further works on your car control and more your touches on the ball. So what we want to do is a small little exercise where you tap the ball to one side and smack the ball to the other side. So one and two and getting lots and lots of power off that. Why is this important? Well, it basically trains your shooting and the speed at which you're hitting the ball. So it's not necessarily important for you to get it on net. That's not the idea with this. It's more how you're hitting the ball. You can see that I'm missing it myself. This doesn't matter. I'm not fussed about it. I'm more worried about the touches in which you're getting. So just a one tap, two taps. You know, that power there is almost unsavable. So what we want you to do is just one tap to the side and then flip in the opposite direction and focus particularly on hitting it with the not the front of your car but the corners of your car at the front so the wheels on either side in particular is a good way to do this so think of it as hitting your wheels and eventually I want you to do this again for another five minutes and just smacking the ball as hard as you can and really focus on your touches your initial pop can't be too short because then you won't be able to get enough power on it and it can't be too hard because then you're going to try catch up to the ball and then you can't get a particularly great hit so you want to piff it just enough so you can hit it like that 
The next thing I want you to do is to focus on your movement around the map. So this will train your aerial um, gameplay in particular, but just generally your movement of your car and your action type. So what I want you to do is to jump from one wall, any side wall will do, to the other wall. And then vice versa, do it around all areas of the map. So like this, and try incorporate a flip in there if you want, just to train it a bit more. So I want you to just keep going around, maybe turn around, go around on this wall. And I want you to do this particular exercise for maybe a minute or two. And then what I want you to do is to start incorporating the ceiling. So going on the ceiling, going to the side, try and go into the other side, maybe rolling up the ceiling, you know, going to the other side. And if you're experienced enough, trying to go in the goal, out the goal, onto the ceiling. Essentially, you want to start building up your speed in which you are moving around the walls and the ceiling. So I want you to initially just focus on getting from wall to wall. But then I want you to almost jump instantly as soon as you hit the wall. And I want you to do this for another two to three minutes. Just training up your reaction times as well as your recoveries off your wall. The next exercise is what I'm going to be calling the hopping exercise. And this essentially involves hopping onto the wall and off the wall, on the wall, off the wall, over and over again on one side of the wall and this focuses on your recoveries and your landings and how good you are at your air roll as well. Why is this important? Well this is going to build up your recoveries and your general speed in game and you are going to be on the wall during the game so obviously building this up is very very helpful. So I want you to start building up speed slowly as you do it so nice and slow to start with but then eventually when you get a bit more comfortable with it, want you to, you know, go like that. And if you are comfortable enough for those who know how to do it, I would encourage you to try wave dash on the wall, off the wall, on the wall, off the wall. And try build that up and try to build up your speed while you do it. And try to focus on doing it both ways around the map. So do one way, turn around, go the other way. And just build this up slowly over and over again and I want you to do this for another five minutes the last thing I want you to do now is to go back to hitting the ball around the map and focus on again on hitting the ball with speed and this time though I want you to try focus more on the aerial mechanics so I want you to try go in the air a bit more try to work on jumping with the ball in the air and this is where you get permission to start going for the more flashy stuff. In particular I'm going to want you to focus on just hitting the ball with speed. The reason I get people to do this again is purely because you should now be slightly more warmed up from a mechanical perspective and you should be able to hit a lot of more of these shots and hit the ball a lot harder. And this is also just to condition yourself to the ball once again. So I want you to do this for a further five minutes. And then that is the training routine. My half an hour training routine. One thing I also want to touch on is people commonly ask me, oh, should I queue casual? Should I not queue casual before I go into ranked? My answer to this, in contrary to what most people say, is yes you probably should play casual. And the reason you probably should play casual is even though the pacing of it is different to ranked, it's going to be a little bit janky at points in terms of players throwing, freestyling, whatever it is, right? It at least conditions you to playing with another player and playing with an opposition. Because if you go straight from this training into a ranked game, I guarantee you nine times out of 10, in the first minute or two, you'll be scrambling just to keep up. Just because you haven't been training with an actual player and you haven't conditioned yourself to an actual match. Because training is one thing, but playing in a match is a completely another thing. So I would recommend 
maybe playing one to three casual games and don't ex necessarily expect the gameplay to be absolutely brilliant or the speed of it to match COD because that's a common misconception. People think, oh, casual is just going to be like a little bit slower comp and everybody's going to rotate properly. No, that's not how it works. What you need to do is focus not on what they're doing, but more just on how you're hitting the ball in the game and focus particularly on the things that we've just trained in the game. So if your flicks in game are not working very well, you might want to go back into training and just train those for another five minutes. If your shooting's a little bit off in game, you might want to go back in training and train your shooting a little bit more. If you feel like you're slow around the field, maybe recoveries is the thing you need to train just a little bit more before you go into ranked. But that's why casual can be seriously important. And so I would actually recommend you do do a couple casual games before you go into ranks. Hopefully this video helps. And if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section about what, what videos I can do next. I'm open to lots of suggestions. Also, we're on the road to 100 subscribers. So feel free to like, comment and subscribe. It would be really helpful and it would mean a lot to me. Thanks guys. See you in the next video.